We can do it together. So, second take is always the best, I think, for Friday. Been a hot week. Been a week where I didn't really want to get into God's Word, and I really didn't want to grow, but I have to. And that's what we're talking about today, is growing in Christ. So let's do it. Three, two, one. Friday morning. Amen. I'm so glad it's Friday. I hope you're glad it's Friday. And I hope this weekend you spend some time with family, have a little fun maybe, and be here Sunday morning, worshiping God with us, getting into God's Word, and growing in Christ. And that's what we're talking about today is growing in Christ. So let's jump into God's Word. We're in 2 Peter 3.18. Let me read it to you and then we'll talk about it. But grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To Him be glory both now and forever. Amen. And when winter's done and spring hits and things start to grow and around here when the wheat starts to pop, the corn gets tall, the flowers get to blooming, we all like to see things grow. And our Father in heaven is no different. He wants to see us grow. I think as parents, we all want that. And you know, Jesus talks about it. He talks about it. Good fruit. So when we ask Jesus to come into our heart, our root changes, our tree transforms from a bad tree to a good tree. And Jesus says, look for the good fruit. That means that, that we are changing, transforming. We are shedding the bad fruit. We're repenting of our sins and we are producing good fruit. James and John both talk about that if you're not producing good fruit, then maybe you don't even know who Jesus is. Maybe you were never of Jesus. How's your fruit? I hear a lot of people that say, I've read this book a million times, man. I don't need to read it again. I know what's in here. That is a lie from Satan. This word changes all the time. As I read God's word, and if I've read a verse a hundred times, and I read it a hundred and one times, God shows and reveals something different to me. Don't ever let Satan lie to you and tell you that you are good enough, that you have grown enough in Christ. It is something that we will do until the very day that we die. Are you in God's Word? Are you with God's people? Are you involved in a local church body where you can grow together, where we can hold each other accountable and love each other through things and walk together? And if you call this church home, are you doing something other than just showing up on Sunday and checking a box. Because can I tell you, that's not following Jesus and that's not growing in Christ. I love each and every one of you down this lens. Let me pray for you. Father God, we love you. Father, help us to see that we have holes in our growth, that we need to continue to work on who we are and we need to grow in you. Father, it's your son that set that example for us. And all throughout his word and all throughout the gospels, he says that we are to grow, we are to repent, that we are to turn from our sins, be changing always, be pliable to you. So God, help us to see that we need to continue to grow. We need to continue to water and fertilize, get in the sun. God, that means praying. That means hanging out with your people. That means getting involved in a local body and hanging out with your son more. So God, help us to see that today. God, thank you for that. We love you. We ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. So come on, man. Let's go be kind to people. The world needs it. Peace. I will see you Sunday morning.